Hey guys, it's Pinkstar and today I thought I would do my first bookish video. I was going to start a whole new channel for this but I think I'm just going to keep it on this channel for now. Um, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to show you my 2022 book reading journal. Um, so I'm just going to flip through that quickly and show you what I've got. Um, and then I'm going to choose my January TBR. Alright, so here is my journal for this year. Um, this is just an A5 dot grid journal. And I put in this nice quote on the side and 2022 reading log. But here is my anticipated releases page. I've just written in um, every date that there is an anticipated release and what it is. This is my wish list. Um, this is my reading log where I'll rate all my books that I read. And this is probably my favourite, the progress shelf. So I'm just going to colour in each of the books on the shelf as I read a book. And here we have a nice quote. In January, I've got a TBR section where I'm going to stick in pictures of the books little review section and a monthly wrap up and I've done this for each month as well so each month has their own little title page I've still got to put something in a couple of these um, blank pages just like a nice quote or a picture or something um, but yeah I'm really happy with how it's turned out I used the Coffee Monster Co calendar pictures. I'll put a link for a uh, page down below. They're really cute. She does such cute artwork. So that's what I've used as the inspiration for each of my monthly spreads. Also if I decide to put in some more monthly reviews and do, read a few extra books I can put that in the back because there's a few extra pages left over. I'm also going to be doing a end of year wrap up. I haven't decided how I'm doing that yet, but there's a page there at the end for that. Alright, so that was my journal. Um, please let me know what you think of it down below. Um, and now we're going to choose my TBR for January. I've never had an actual TBR for reading before, so this could be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, here we go. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to roll a dice, um, so it's just a 12 sided dice and it will um, correspond to a prompt. So I will show you guys quickly my TBR prompt list. Alright, so we're just going to roll the dice and see what we get. So I'm only doing six rolls um, because I only want to read six books a month. Um, well, that's my goal is between four to six a month. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to read any more than that. Um, six is kind of pushing it. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Alright, so we first got seven, um, and that is a book, like a, a book in a series. Um, it's normally like the next book in a series, but I haven't actually got any series that I've already started. So I'm starting a new series. Um, so I'm going to be reading the Witcher series. Um, so I'm going to read Last Wish, which is the first book in this series. Um, I played all the Witcher games and I've watched the program, um, but for some reason I haven't read the books. So, yeah. Um, I currently own both the first two books, so we'll see if we like this one enough to purchase the rest. Alright, so the second roll we got one which is a new book that's come out in the last two years. Um, so I actually chose one that 
I have been going to read, which is these Hollow Vows uh, by Lexi Ryan. So yeah, this will be my second book to read for the month. Really looking forward to this one. Um, it's actually a really recent purchase as well, but yeah, really excited to read this. Um, love anything that's to do with like Fae and magic and things, so yeah, right up my alley, so I'm excited to read that. Alright, next we got another one. So I'm actually going to pick a book that's on my Kindle that I recently got that came out, I think, last year. Um, which is City of Thorns. Um, this is by Cian Crawford and I've heard really good things about this. I know that the second book's coming out this year, actually middle of January I think. So yeah, I'm quite excited to read this one, give it a go and see what it's all about. Alright, now we've got Eleven, which is a book under 450 pages, uh, so I have chosen this one here, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, this is by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I actually don't know a lot about this one, but I've heard really good reviews. Um, I actually picked this up from my works library, so I'll be reading this and then giving it back. Um, but yeah, I'm actually quite excited to read this and just see what all the hype is about and see, you know, if it lives up to it, if I enjoy it as much as everyone else has. So, yeah. Awesome. Alright, second to last roll we have a 12 and I was hoping I wouldn't get this one this month um, because it means I have to read a book over 450 pages, which is quite long. But... I am going to choose this one here, which is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I recently purchased this amazing edition. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, I've just heard really good things about this book. It seems like something I would really love to read. Uh, yeah, so I'm quite excited about it, but it is like 490 pages long. So it's quite a big one. Um, yeah, hoping that I can get to it and get through this this month because, yeah, I really want to read this. I've been looking forward to reading this for a, a while, so, yeah. And lastly, I got Four, which is a book that is currently on my Kindle. Um, I have some books on my Kindle that I've had since I bought my Kindle. Um, which was in like 2012, so like nearly 10 years ago. Like, because I think this is, I think I got it at the end of 2012. So, yes, nearly 10 years ago I've had my Kindle and I got quite a few books originally that were really cheap or like free when I got my Kindle. So, I figured I might as well start getting through some of those. So I'm going to read The Guardian by Katie Klein. Um, this one here, it is part of a series, the Guardians series, I think, and yeah, it just sounded really good at the time, um, so hopefully it's good. If not, I won't bother getting the rest of the series, but I figured I might as well read it, get it off my Kindle list, and then <laughs> it's done, um, and I can move on. I mean, it seems like it'll be good, but who knows? And I may not even get to it, as I said, I don't know if I'm going to end up reading all six this month. We'll see. As I said, it is my first time doing a proper TBR. Normally I just read when I feel like reading, or if something comes out that I really want to read, I'll read it. But that's about it. So, yeah, it's only just been recently that I've started getting back into reading lots, because I used to read lots when I was younger, and then I kind of stopped. I don't know why. Um, I guess work and life and other things and I just didn't really do it as much but then I've just kind of got back into doing it heaps and I've found Bookstagram so you can find me on Instagram 
either on my normal Instagram handle if you just want to check out like my cosplay stuff and my fitness and life stuff. But if you want to see my book things, I've got a new Instagram which is Pinkstar Reads, so you can check that out if you like. Give me a follow on there if you want to see some like reviews and things. That's it. So, <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below um, if you're reading any of the same books as me this month or if you have read the books that I'm reading and um, you know, let me know if you like them or you didn't like them. And yeah, we'll see how we go and I'll update you at the end of the month with next month's TBR and let you know what I thought of the books that I read this month. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.